Boom, let's go over how to make this an auto updating correlation matrix of literally whatever numbers you want. I'm gonna go over how to do this with horizontally organized data and vertically organized data. But let's start from scratch, delete this stuff. All right, so let's zoom out. I got two different uh, sets of data. Let's say you have athlete wellness data, okay? So with this, I'm gonna go over it's basically correlation function, index, and match. Now, I have a tutorial already on index and match in my YouTube, but the correlation one is super, super simple. So we're going to start by copying, pasting, literally verbatim, what these uh, are. So sleep, quality, energy, soreness, stress. And then if you right-click, let's do just the values. That looks better. Right-click, and then the one, two, three icon is just the no formatting copy and then let's transpose this so that's this little button right here so it has to line up word for word letter for letter or else it won't work so let's start with sleep and sleep quality and i'll explain why i'm doing it not sleep and sleep so equals coral for correlation parenthesis so it's just going to find the correlation between two arrays of data two series of data so in the first array, we're going to go index and match. So index, I want us to look from top to bottom. And then I'm going to control shift and keep hitting right until the end of my data. Week nine. But to make this auto update, you know, once I get all the numbers from week 10, I'm going to go, quote unquote, to the end of eternity. That's what I call it. So I'm control shift, keep hitting right until you hit the end of the Excel sheet, comma. So that's my index. So if I scroll back. So now what's bolded now is the row number. So rows are the numbers that go down and columns go left to right. Then columns are vertical, like columns of a building. So row number. Match. So now I want to find something specifically. Match parenthesis, look up sleep, comma, where should I look it up? The look up array, look it up right here, comma, and I want a zero exact match, parenthesis to close the match. Now I'm going to go comma. Now for this index of the first part of the correlation, what column do I want? So I actually want all of the columns because I want D, E, F, G, right, until the end of the Excel sheet. So I'm actually just going to not even type anything and just end it and hit end parenthesis. So I've officially said, give me all of the row that matches up with sleep. So this would be all of row four, all of row four right here, comma. Now the second array, what do I want the next part of the correlation to be? I'm literally going to do the same thing, but instead of clicking sleep right here, I'm going to click sleep quality. So index, where should I look up? Start here, shift, down, 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 control shift. I'm going to keep going all the way to the end of eternity. Comma, that was my rate. Now, what row do I want? Well, now I want the row of sleep quality, comma. What column do I want now? Oh, sorry. What row do I want? Match. I want you to find the row that matches sleep quality. Where should I look for it? The lookup array right here. And I want an exact match. I'm going to close the match. Comma. What column? Well, I want all of the columns. So I'm just going to leave that blank. End parenthesis. Now I'm going to end the index and the correlation, and I'm going to hit enter. Boom. So basically, correlation one, find everything in row four, and correlation two, find everything basically in row five. And then what is the correlation between that? So now let's do two things before this is just the, this is the only formula we need, and then we'll copy paste and the rest is done. So now my index and my array. I'm going to money sign, double money sign if you hit F4. 
So when I move this formula, the D and the F are going to stay the same. I'm going to money sign this. But now, and what's nice is Excel color coordinates this. The red one, sleep, I want this to move sideways, but I don't want it to move down. So I only want the money sign on the 12. So what this is going to do, if you keep hitting F4, it'll scroll. So now the V can change to W, X, Y, and Z, but the 12 will stay in the 12. But I always want you to look for sleep in the same area right here. So I'm going to double money sign C4 and C8. So I'm basically going to do the same thing. The entire array, money sign, money sign, double. But now sleep quality, I want this to go down, but I always want it to stay in column U. So I'm going to F4. F4, F4. So the U has the money sign, but the 14 doesn't. So it'll go 15, 16, 17, et cetera. But always look for that in the same spot. I'm going to hit enter. But now let's make this look fancy. Some conditional formatting. Everyone's favorite. Yay. Go conditional formatting. So anything that is greater than a 0.7 correlation, and you can make these whatever ranges you want. Greater than a 0.7, make it green. If it's less than negative 0.7, let's make it red. If it is between a 0.5 and a 0.7, let's make it yellow. And if it is between negative 0.5 and negative 0.7, let's also make it yellow. And literally, all we have to do is just copy and paste. So... You can also drag the green square in the bottom to everything you want. But if you know how correlation matrices work, the correlation between sleep and sleep is a 1.0, obviously. So we can delete these, the diagonal in the middle. And then we can also delete half of these because sleep and sleep qualities right here but then sleep and sleep qualities right here. So we only need basically half of this. It's just a little easier to copy and paste it all at once. So not too many correlations right here. Just sleep, sleep quality, energy, and sleep quality and energy. Soreness and stress seem to be pretty independent. So that's how we make that. So now let's do uh, vertically organized, or I guess, however you want to think about it, vertically organized data. So we have all of these sprint characteristics and then the athlete goes um, down in the rows. So we're literally going to do the same thing, but instead of leaving the column blank, because we want every single column of data, we want to know what row the data is in. Now we're just going to leave the row blank. I want every single row, but I want you to pull data from certain columns. So same thing. I'm going to post... I'm going to copy and paste literally the exact same down to the letter, just copy paste. So it's literally the exact same thing. Oh, so I'll show you if it's not the same. So if I say sleep with two P's, nothing will come up because this is literally looking for S L E E P P. And there's nothing that matches that as an exact match. So that is why. It has to be literally like if this is F0 space parenthesis N parenthesis, it literally has to be the exact same thing. But so let's start. So remember, this height height is going to be nothing because it's one. So we're going to start on it on height and weight. So I'm going to go through this relatively quick, but index. No, sorry. Ooh, correlation. I'm sorry, correlation. So what do I want my first set of numbers to be? Index. I'm going to highlight everything but i'm also going to go down to the end of eternity because i want this to auto update the more data that i get what row number do i want well i actually want i want every row number because that's where my data is i just want certain columns so row number i'm just going to hit comma again so the row is kind of infinity i guess is kind of how i think about it what column well, match, I want you to find height. I want you to look for height right here. And I want it to be an zero exact match. 
end with a parenthesis. So that index is done. That first array is done, comma. Well, let's do the same thing. Index, array number two. What's the second set of numbers I want to look for? I want you to look for these numbers for all of eternity. What row do I want it? Well, I actually want all of the rows. So type nothing, just hit comma. And what column should I look for it in? Match. So I'm right here with the weight. Find weight. Comma, look for it right here. And I want an exact match. I'm going to close the match. I'm going to close the index. And I'm going to close the array with parentheses. Boom, right there. So now let's, let's make this pretty. Three decimals. I feel like that's, that's like the best amount for, uh, for correlations. So let's do our money signs. So in the first array, and what's nice about Excel is that this little thing pops up right here and whatever is bold is what you are currently looking at. So that also helps kind of guide what you're doing. So my array, or basically where the vague everything of the numbers, I want that to say the exact same F4 on that, F4 on that double money sign is what I call it, height. I want the 20 to say the same, the row, but I want the columns to change, move left to right. Double F4 or F4, F4, money sign on the 20, not on the V. But always look for that in the same spot, double money sign. The array of correlation number two, the second set of numbers. Look for it in the same spot. I want you to match for weight. I want it always to be in U, but I want the 22. I want this to go downwards, but always look for it in the same spot. All right, so we just did our money signs. Now let's just do our simple conditional formatting. If it's greater than 0.7, make it green. If it's less than negative 0.7, make it red. If it is between 0.5 and 0.7, make it yellow. If it is between negative 0.5 and negative 0.7, make it yellow. And that is literally it. So what I'm going to do now is if we look at this, like right here, this diagonal of where everything lines up with itself, let's make this like black. So see how this is weight and weight, F0, F0, and everything is mirrored. So height and weight is here, but then height and weight is also here. I am just going to copy and paste in the first one below it and then now watch this you ready to get your mind blown drag that down oh my gosh drag that down and just drag these down and it auto updates the functions and what it's looking for so because we money signed everything besides this and this it is always going to look for the same numbers in the same spot. You're just telling it what column you want it to. So this is looking for RF max. This is doing column L versus DRF. This is doing column L versus column N, the correlation between those two numbers. And then you can just drag this down. And then boom. All right. So let's type in some new numbers and watch some of these numbers auto update because like I said, this one, height and weight, it is doing all of column D and all of column E until the end of the Excel sheet. So let's say this guy was two meters tall. He weighed 200 kilos. See how that just changed right there? Let's say his F0 was 1,000. See how those two changed right there? Let's say his F0 per kg was 10. And all of these, so these three change. And I'll do V0, and all of those four will change. Let's say his V0 is eight. So basically, every time that you have a new entry of data, it'll auto-update that correlation. So that's how to make a correlation matrix, index match, horizontally organized data, vertically organized data. Pretty simple. You can color it however you want. And uh, happy excelling.